Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to new in Autodesk Inventor 2012, iLogic Forms. We'll start this video with a board that I actually created in Autodesk Inventor 2011 and show you the functionality I was using at that time. Here I have the board open, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to the Manage tab. I'm going to click an eye trigger. And we'll see this dialog box, and this dialog box switches the joint between a tenon joint and what I deem a regular joint without the tenons. Click that again, and I can toggle between the two. The dialog box is very functional, but there's a few more things that Inventor 2012 lets us do that make it a little bit more user friendly. So now I'll go to my iLogic browser and suppress the old dialog box because we're going to create a new one. I'm going to click on my Forms tab, right-click and hit Add Form. So now we can build a brand new dialog box. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of the form to something more meaningful. So I'm going to call this Joint Type Selection. And you can see the name change over in the dialog box sample. I can change any customizations I want, but I'm going to leave this alone for right now. It's pretty much what I want. Now I'll go to my toolbox and drag over a picture. And now I can go ahead and I can browse on my computer for an image to use for the title. And there we go, right there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my parameters and drag in the joint type. And you can see it's already building that pull down for me right there. I'll go ahead and change that name so I get a more meaningful uh, title next to the pull down, and now I can even change my pull down type. So here I can click and I can change that from a combo box to a list box or a radio box. I kind of like the radio myself, so I'm going to use that radio group and call that good. Now, just like that, I've built a much more user friendly dialog box, and I can click once twice, and just like that, we've got a new dialog built, much more user friendly and a lot more elegant. That's a quick sample of how to use the forms inside of Autodesk Inventor 2012. Thanks for watching everyone.